Are you into CNC machines? Do you like CO2 lasers? Do you have a KX40 machine? Well, I do have one. And despite they are great little machines, they could improve in some areas. Today, I'm going to start sharing with you my first improvement. As always, every information, all the plans, list of materials is going to be shared with you by links in the description, just not on this video because I'm making the machine as I film it to post it for you. So I'm still tweaking some details, but on the last video, everything is going to be available to you. Enjoy. So regarding the bed size for the KX40, it has a size of about an A4 sheet of paper, about 20 by 30 centimeters. So what do you think? Let's double it. Nah. Let's make it eight times bigger. What? Still small? Okay. The final bed size is going to be 17 times bigger. It's going to have 130 by 80 centimeters of working area, which will allow me to cut full size DEPROM sheets, 70 by 100 centimeters, and even some stock sizes of wood that are for sale here, which come in at about 122 centimeters long. Are you interested? Then keep watching. This is a quick video edit. Unfortunately, during the footage for this episode, something went wrong because the audio coming from the GoPro mic is quite unusable. What you are going to see is audio added later and synced with the footage, but I think it's not too bad. Hello guys, so this is the actual KX40 bed, it's made from aluminum extrusions and this one I have taken out from another KX40 I bought that is just going to be used to remove the parts that I need to make the bigger one. That's the one I bought and just has a size comparison and this is going to be fun. This is the area. It's about a sheet of A4 paper and this is the area of the bigger one. I already named it. It's going to be called KXL40. And the bed is uh, actually oversized. It's not the size I told you about 130 to 80 centimeters because I still need the space to put the laser tube to the, the guides and everything um, it needs to work. So. What do you think? Yeah, I, I'm quite excited about this because it's going to allow me to uh, do so much things. It's about eight times bigger than the standard KX40. Now, take, let's take this out of the way and get started on this project. I'm going to use this standard KX40. Well, the, the bed is missing because I have already removed it, but I will remove every single part it has to uh, put on the KXL. I haven't removed the um, electronics. Everything is going to go out, the panels, the laser tube. For now, they are just here for safety purposes and I still don't need them. So. Actually, this is quite simple. For you to get a bigger laser machine, you just need uh, bigger rails and a software that allows you to increase the area, which the K40 Whisper does. Regarding the bed, I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars in a honeycomb bed. So I bought these aluminum stripes 
these are two millimeter stripes these smaller ones are going to be installed uh, in this position along the bed and i have already bought a large one that will interlock with all the others in the middle it's going to work it's quite cheap and we don't need anything else in the sides it will be finished off with some uh, wood for the y-axis i'm still not sure but i have here two options either to put these two tubes 10 millimeter uh, steel tubes i want to show you the inside yeah one millimeter wall steel tube um, i would use two and then uh, just like a 3d printer and i can use linear bearings like this i can put them uh, vertically uh, horizontally i still don't know they are very light the second option is to use this aluminium extrusion i haven't still quite made up my mind but i will probably end up uh, testing both of them this is a five millimeter rod to make the uh, motion transfer for the x-axis from one side to another because i will only have one stepper motor so i will transfer the motion it's just like on the small kx40 it, it, it does have something like this now for the big rails i have solid 10 millimeter metal rods this is uh, for the air compressed air and this is uh, uh, from the kx40 the assembly for uh, the laser head I will make new parts to put this on the KXL the laser tube is going to be on the back I have enough space to put in a bigger tube if I need to if I want to the KX40 will be until here it's the size it occupies so I have plenty of space now these parts are going to be used for the x and y axis i have uh, different pulleys tooth and uh, how you say flat ones and i have yeah this one is flat i have linear bearings i want to show you the inside it's just a normal uh, linear bearing with uh, a casing and I have 10 meters of uh, this uh, belt this is 5 millimeters belt this is the fan uh, that is, I'm going to use to extract the fumes this one cost me about 25 euro and I think the specs say it moves 400 liters per minute automatic now for surprise this is my fully automatic bed height system this is 10 millimeter um, belt it's going to go around the table so i have about 10 meters of it I have four steel rods this is uh, the ones you use on a 3d printer uh, i believe it's 20 millimeters and then some more adapters and pulleys something about the parts i want to make this as simple and as uh, cheap as possible however I do not want to compromise quality and duration of the parts I don't want to keep changing parts every week or two weeks uh, no 
I want to build something that is durable, however, as simple as possible and spending the least money I can. Um, in my experience, if you want something to, 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 to last, you have to have quality. So it makes no sense to me to use the cheapest parts I can on this and then I will keep changing them and because they wear out. Well, and that's all for today's episode. On the next one, I'm going to install the X and Y axis and to continue the work on the machine enclosure. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this build.